Second Steps back and fires. That's good. And 11 points for Blake Griffin. Had so much space there, and the defense really not showing him the respect. You can see his eyes get wide. Now a timeout called by Orlando. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. These two teams are effectively strangers to each other. Only two meetings all season. This is their uh, first one, and then they'll play one more down the road. And it's Hillis off the drive, rejected by Griffin, and they'll keep possession. You know, even though they're behind, I love the job they've been doing getting to the free throw line. Yeah, they've been aggressive, and that's really important. You've got to continue to attack. So, Clark, as Steve was saying, they don't see each other that much. What does that mean as you analyze it to the approach that a team takes coming into a game like this? Well, you know what? It probably means they don't have specific game plans tailored in a detailed manner for each other. So you have to go back to your general principles a little more uh, when you play an opponent you're not as familiar with. And you also then would have to make more adjustments on the fly, I would think. Aaron Gordon drafted after just one season in Arizona. And he's extremely young for his class. His folks enrolled him in school early because of his size and energy level as a youngster. Oh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. Peyton dishes to Gordon. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Grown man's power flush with the long hang on the rim at the end of it. Clark, that could be a catalyst for him. I think you're right. Well, we've seen these kind of players get them going in the half. For sure. Now that's no run of the mill put back there. Well, the rebound and then the dunk one on top of the other. The one two punch. You gotta love it. Peyton passes to Gordon. Tipped away. Paul kicks to Griffin. He hangs it home with one hand. What a sweet assist by CP3. And Gordon has always had a passion for the game when he was 10. Broken so many portable hoops as parents put up a permanent one. They said they put it up the next day around midnight. They heard a sound, looked outside, and he was digging the hole himself. <laughs> I like this guy. Well, that certainly shows a love for the game and a very mature work ethic. Bodes well for his future. The Magic trail by 15. Peyton kicks to Gordon. Peyton dishes to Gordon. And Griffin sends it back. Miller with the ball. Now Peyton defending. Paul outside. Back to Miller. Miller with another miss. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. A wide open look here for Oladipo. That's in coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. Paul goes in. Here's Griffin. And he goes in for the dunk. Now that was pretty. That was just a nice looking reverse jam right there. Use the rim, Clark, to protect the ball, I think, too, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. did a nice job with it. Yeah, no question, Kevin. Great awareness and terrific finish. Vucevic is screen on Paul. Peyton passes to Vucevic. Pierce against Harris. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Vucevic. You know what? Good D by Jordan. About three seconds between shot and game clock. A three-pointer, no good. The Magic trail by 14. Harris kicks to Payton. Vucevic is screen on Paul. Back to Harris. Here's Gordon. A stupendous finishing track. Gordon's got five points in the quarter. The defense pretty much helpless there, stopping that layup. I think too much of a mismatch. Oh, he got it! Boom! Buzzer! Knock it down! <laughs> right at the horn! Oh, three points right there at the end of the quarter. Only about one in 50 of those go down, but that's why you chuck them up there. You want to give yourself a chance. And so that brings the first half to a close. Clippers lead by 15. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Hey, Kevin, I'm here with Blake Griffin. And, Blake, what's been the key tonight on how this first half has turned out for you guys? Uh, we just have a lot of different pieces, a lot of veteran pieces, a lot of, uh, you know, skilled pieces. And, and, you know, they're coming all together right now. And, and you know, it, it makes it a lot easier for us. 
Thanks for your time, Blake. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be right back after him. so far we'll see if that changes here in the third it's been one outstanding game from Jay he like he made everything he got I mean anytime he had an open look he took advantage of the opportunity there in that first half and Steve they were all good looks I mean his shot selection has been terrific throughout the game the magic trail by 15 the Magic, Steve, a team that, that six years ago was, was playing in the NBA Finals, but a full-on rebuild is taking place in Orlando. Yeah, the departure of Dwight Howard has set that process in motion, and now trying to build with young talent, being very patient, and, uh, you know, they've put some good pieces in place. They've got to continue their strong work, though. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Blake Griffin down low and DeAndre Jordan. Miller is out there with Paul, and it's Pierce in at the three, the small forward. Gordon dishes to Vucevic. Good ball movement here by the Magic. And Oladipo kicks to Gordon. And he gets it to go. Gordon's got his third bucket of the night. And you know, when you think about the Orlando Magic building patiently through the draft, kind of the Oklahoma City model, and the front office of the Magic run by people who worked in OKC and the Spurs organization before that. So they're not trying to take any shortcuts. They want to build this team right. And fouled as he went up to the dunk. Good aggressive move, and he'll shoot two. You know, for the Magic, initially people thought they really got the short end of the stick in the Dwight Howard trade, but in hindsight, they did quite well. They acquired some nice young pieces, some draft picks, and I think looking forward, the Magic are actually in a pretty good position. Paul with the three, and that one's good. Paul's got 11 points. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. And Oladipo gets to Vucevic. Jordan with the block. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Thank you, Kevin. Doc Rivers trying to help this Clippers team to the mountaintop. And Chris Paul said, I've never had a coach that wants to win as bad as I do until Rivers. Rivers said, I'm just here to try to win. I always tell our players there's no guarantee to it. You have to be willing to get your hearts broken. Gentlemen. He's getting him to lay it all on the line. Doris, thank you. And here's Miller outside. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his eighth assist in the game. They are trying to pull away here, continuing to add to this lead. Well, Steve, no time is a good time to let up in my mind. I mean, you got to continue to play the game no matter what the score is. No mercy. Behind oh, that was, that was oh. wicked. <laughs> Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Vucevic is screen on Paul. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Really, last season was just the second step in the aftermath that was the Dwight Howard trade for the match. Still trying to find the direction and acquire building blocks, and that does take a little time. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for the match. Reflecting again in the Howard trade you mentioned, guys, some of the pieces they received, Steve, from that deal have started to blossom. I agree. They did a good job with that trade, and it probably didn't look like that in the beginning to their fans, but a lot of these young guys they acquired, Vucevic, they've really been good. <laughs> you don't see the wide-open fadeaway shot too often. Dayton drives in. That's good. Dayton's got six points. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. Here's Paul. Off the left rim and up. Great look. Disappointing result. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Out to Peyton. He feeds it to Vucevic. Harris passes to Peyton. Shot clock at six. 
Harris inside, guarded by Jordan. Here's O'Quinn. He trains the turnaround jump shot. O'Quinn's got his first points in this one. Los Angeles calls timeout. Well, Tobias Harris missing the first month and a half of last season with a high ankle sprain. And once he returned, it took him a while to get back into form. But Magic are hoping he can be a big piece for them moving forward. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Channing Fries checked in for Vucevic. Fournier comes in for Tobias Harris. Ben Gordon's checked in for Olivia. And Luke Widmell is up in for Peyton. Defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. And the shot is good from Johnson. And Harris now in his fourth season already, but still just 22 years old. Came into the league young, but has added some muscle to his frame. And, uh, he's an underrated athlete. This guy's a really good all-around player. He had a 38-inch vertical at the NBA Combine a few years back. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And it's now 23 points for Blake Griffin. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Clippers. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And they're also really good on the transition. Scoring some hoops in the fast break tonight. None of the defenders wanted anything Clark to do with him on that jam. And I do not blame him at all, partner. <laughs> he was coming in with a bunch of steam and was ready to posterize whoever decided to get in his uh, way. All right, I understand, fellas, but come on. You've got to challenge him a little bit at least. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Here's Rittenauer. Misses off the right iron. You guys talk about Harris's athleticism. Steadily improving, too, Steve, as a rebound. You know, in the opportunity for big minutes in Orlando, they bought out Glenn Davis last season, freeing up minutes for Harris to take that next step. Here's Rittenauer. It's hauled in by Jamal Crawford. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Griffin, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. He's their go-to guy, and when he shoots the ball like he has today, that's what the scoreboard usually looks like. The Magic trailed by 21. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Fry. Good. Another bucket in the paint. That's something they just have not been able to stop today. I think it's time to make some adjustments defensively, Clark. I mean, what they've got going right now is not getting it done. This switch has definitely been flipped to on this quarter, guys. Kicks to Gordon. Good. And the assist goes to Rittenauer. Rittenauer's got his third assist on the night. Pretty, pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. And he gets it to go. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. <clears throat> Here's Fournier. He's guarded by Johnson. For three, Gordon. It's rebounded by Stevenson. Yeah, again, if the shot selection there, defender draped all over. Well, you got to understand who's guarding you in that situation. I mean, if he's on you tight, you can't just rise up and try to shoot over the top. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together. And they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Feeds it to Johnson. Over to the wing. And Griffin, here we go. Fades. Good. Griffin's got 31 points. What a top-notch game he's having. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seems like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. That's good. You know, they're being very one-dimensional right now, going to the post every time. But if it works, you don't need another dimension. Well, they're taking this defense to task, quite honestly. Every one of their last 10 points have come in the paint. Fades back. That went off the back eye in and out. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Clippers ahead, running away with it. 2K Sports, back in a moment from the Amway Center. Yes, sir. And here now is our State Farm assist to the game, and Steve coming earlier on a three-pointer. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good passes tonight, some on the interior. This one on the outside, setting up his teammate perfectly for that three-point look. 